and welcome to my August wrap up. Welcome back to those of you that are already familiar with the channel and a big hello to all the new followers. Hello, hello, hello. Um, today I'm doing my August wrap up. August was um, another month full of lots of ups and downs. Um, my health problems continue to be a problem, um, but I am making progress. I also had an accident this month where I kind of fell through a chair and so damaged my leg quite badly. So <laughs> I've been on rest for the past week and I have nice rainbow colored bruising coming out basically from my foot up to my knee. Um, so that's kind of put, um, a little slowing down on my progress this month um, but I've not done too badly I've not done too badly as far as reading challenges go um, I'm still making good progress I'm still completely on course with the two reading challenges that I'm doing I read for the clock challenge I read nine lives by Terry Tyler which is this one here this is a book this one I gave a four star to and it's a collection of nine short stories and yeah it was really quite good uh, then I for the A to Z challenge um, I did the first book in the Zodiac Killer series hope you can see that got some glare going on um, which gets me my Z sorry about the dogs barking um, and I also did the letter P with Pretty Little Girls by Jennifer Ruff there. Um, I gave both of these for the A to Z challenge. I gave them both three stars um, for different reasons. But um, I mean, they were both quite good reads and everything. Um, just had a few things, both of them, that didn't particularly like um, but I will be doing a full review for those um, as a separate video um, then we have my um, blogging challenges that I'm doing I did um, for the blog audit challenge you can find the post right here um, the topic of the month was technical errors and so the goal was to fix broken links on the site now I had started doing this and I have made some progress with it obviously it's quite a big task because I've been doing this for years now and um, so yeah since 2006 there's a lot of Dads of broken links so I'm working my way through them I've not made as much progress as I was hoping for but um, I'm getting there and then we had the social media audit challenge where the focus for the month was on LinkedIn now um, I am getting much better about sharing my blog content over on my LinkedIn profile as well and um, definitely has been helping um, so I mean my traffic to my site is doing pretty well so far um, this year so I'm, I'm really pleased with the progress there um, so yes I have been sharing more to my LinkedIn the other um, parts of the tasks were to do the photo the general page setup so the photo and the banner and everything I'd already done that so um, I was ahead there my contact contact information I checked that as well so that's all um, current and up to date um, uh, featured posts I'd already set up some I may change for um, some newer posts because I have like my evergreen most popular posts um, as my featured posts but I might mix that up a little bit um, soon and uh, the one thing that I did want to work on that I didn't get around to doing was the task about updating my about section on my LinkedIn profile um, because I mean it's fine the way it is it's just I don't think that it's working um, 
to its full potential. So I would like to do some updating on that as well and um, try and improve it, um, which like I said, I haven't got round to, but it is on my list. Um, and then there was the adding skills. I already have a lot of skills listed on my LinkedIn profile, um, some that I added at the beginning and then some that other people have added for me. Um, I'm actually really quite pleased with the list of skills that are on there. I think they're quite accurate. Um, and then um, testimonials. I have quite a, a lot of testimonials on LinkedIn, uh, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, part of the task was to try and encourage more. So um, I haven't actually done that. Um, but I need to, um, to keep it more up to date. So, um, yeah, I may branch out to reach out to some recent clients and things that I've worked with, um, blog sponsors, that kind of thing to see if they can add something for me. Um, I don't know if you guys watching this want to endorse me for, um, YouTube, I don't know. Uh, feel free to do that. Or if you have been over to my blog, joelinsdale.com then and you like what you see over there then feel free to drop over to my linkedin i'm joe linstow everywhere um you can find my uh stuff there and yeah testimonials adding thumbs up on my skills and stuff uh, would be very much appreciated um so yeah overall i'm not doing too badly um like i said i didn't finish all of my blogging challenges that I wanted to do. I didn't make the reading progress that I had hoped on doing. Um, although for my reading challenges, I am, like I said, I am still on track. Um, for my A to Z challenge, I'm now just missing three letters, which is the I, the W and the X. Um, and for my clock reading challenge, I'm missing the six, seven, eight and 12. So I am, very much on track with both of those and I'm not worried about not finishing them in fact um, I'm planning on doing a challenge for myself once I have finished them because I'm hoping to finish um, sooner rather than later on those and I'm gonna set myself a challenge also of trying to um, get through my net galley TBR list because it's got a little bit out of control and I want to get my ratio um, back under control. Also because I have some really amazing books, um, well I think are going to be amazing books on my TBR over there and so I really want to catch up and go through them all and everything. So I'm going to be adding an additional reading challenge for um, the second half of the year which is going to be to get my NetGalley TBR down to zero. Um, which I have come close to several times and then I end up going on a splurge and getting lots of them like all at once and I'm like what did I do what did I do because it's just so easy um, to get them but um, yeah so anyway that's part of my plan for the second half of the year is to add this additional net galley challenge um, to it uh, just out of curiosity does this happen to you as well for Nat Gally? Do you find yourself like getting so close to getting your TBR under control and then in a space of, I don't know, 10 minutes or something, you manage to splurge and add even more books um, to it? If this is you, then, you know, solidarity down in the comment section. <laughs> we will support each other. We need like a help group for this. Um, but yeah, and if any of you want to join in, with that tackling the Nick Galley TBR in the second half of the year, then yes, feel free to join me on this. Um, I will be doing a separate video where I will be sharing my Nick Galley TBR um, because there's quite a lot of books on it. Um, I don't know if I will finish all of them by the end of the year because I have other review copies and things that I need to get to as well. Um, but um, yeah, that's the plan anyway. So I hope you guys will join me for that. Um, anyway.
anyway, yeah, this is it for my August wrap up. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, then please give it a like and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads. Again, um, one of my goals for this year is to get monetized on my channel here. And um, so I would love to get to the 1000 subscribers. Um, so far, I'm, I am making progress, but I would love to have more of you um, to chat with and follow along. So if you're not subscribed, then please click the subscribe button and help me reach my goal um, for this year. Anyway, so yeah, that's that. I also, as far as vlogging progress goes and reaching my other goals, um, I introduced um, some sponsored post features um, and other things for sponsors over on my website, jolinstar.com. Um, and I already had a few sponsors take it up so I'm really pleased with that as well I'm hoping to monetize that more as well um, and also on my other blog because I have another blog as well which is writersandauthors.info which is like the other side of the industry so it's for writers and authors um, as opposed to the readers part that I do over on joelinstall.com so yeah I have like this my sister site if you like the writers and authors one which um, I'm in the process of relaunching because I took a break from that um, because I wanted to concentrate on my joelinstall brand more and establish that more uh, which I have done and so and then with covid and everything it just um, I just put it on pause a little bit but it, even without posting content for almost two years to the site um, because I basically I skipped all of 2019 and then most of 2020 as well I think I posted just like a handful of posts at the end of 2020 um, and that was it so I've recently restarted posting to writers and authors but even with the break I was still getting like over 36,000 visitors a month to it which is why I've decided to um, give it another push again and carry on doing it um, because I have a really loyal strong readership over there as well um, also because I, I like to be able to have a separate blog to do the flip side so to talk about the actual writing stuff and book promotion and publishing and all that kind of side of things um, as like a separate thing so um, I'm relaunching that I have paid services over there as well which again I literally this week started doing that again and I already have my first sponsor for that so I'm really pleased um, with the progress and hoping to um, really make this go from being a hobby which I have done for years um, I am still going to carry on doing it as a hobby um, anyway but um, I want to turn it into more of a natural business as well and um, so that I can make money doing what I love basically and I really love doing this so um, yeah also on the, on the topic of this um, I have another couple of questions for you the first one is do you have multiple blogs and why do you have multiple blogs like I said I mean I have the two like flip sides so I have my own personal one and then I have um, which is like the reader side and my blogging and that kind of like all the things that like really interest me from that point of view and then I have the other side which is the writers and authors one which again is geared towards writers and authors and publishing and that kind of stuff um, so it's like a more business site as opposed to my more personal site um, so the way that I run them is slightly different um, do you have sites like that do you have multiple sites for other reasons I would love to hear um, your thoughts about that your feedback about that um, also um, are you a hobby blogger or are you trying to turn it into a business as well do you want to be a professional blogger 
um, like I said, I've been doing this um, as a hobby um, for years now, um, but I haven't really taken it seriously as a business um, thing until recently, and so it's just like I want to carry on doing it, but I want to be able to do it and um, actually make some money from it as well. But I don't, I don't want it to change the enjoyment of it as far as a hobby. So I want to keep it as a hobby, but turn it into business as well. So I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this as well, and if you are actually making money off of your book blog and things that you do. How do you make money off of your book blog? Um, I have a few various ways that I'm doing. I've gone into affiliate marketing. I have the sponsored posts and things like that. Sidebar advertising um, and things like that. I don't want to, um, at least for now, don't want to be paid for the reviews that I do because I I don't know, that's one of those topics that's come up a lot within the book blogging community about being paid to review. Um, I don't want it to influence how I'm thinking about the review that I'm doing. I want to be completely honest in the reviews that I do and share my honest opinion without feeling like I have to give a good review um, of a book. I mean, I try to be um, objective and try to have something nice to say about all of the books that I review um, and if I can't think of anything nice at all I generally don't post the reviews of the books that I've read um, just because I'm an author too I don't, don't want to go I don't want to harm anyone's thing I mean if they've requested a review I don't like the book then I will explain privately why I don't um, want to publish a public review for them they can then decide if they want me to or not, but um, I think most would say no. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if I'd want to actually be paid for the reviews. At the same time though, blogging is a lot of work and the promotion and things that we as book bloggers put into it, um, it would be nice to be compensated for that, which is why I've started doing like the sponsored posts and things like that as well as far as actual like book marketing goes, um, but from a different angle. So it's not for reviews, it's for other kinds of posts. Um, but I don't know, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Um, do you think we should be paid for book reviews that we do? Um, or would you prefer like me to not be paid for them so it doesn't influence the actual review? Um, and your credibility and things when it comes to the reviews that you do but would you like to make money doing other kinds of posts what kind of posts would you do so that you could be paid to do them um, I don't know I've seen a lot of people that have like tip jars and things on their sites as well so um, I might potentially add something like that so that should I review an author's book and they appreciate the review that I've done and the time I've spent promoting it they could tip me so it's not actually paying for the book review it's just showing appreciation for what's already been done but um, like after it's been done um, so I, I don't know I'm still thinking about these kind of things but I would love to hear your guys feedback about this and the experience and things that you've had doing this um, anyway that is it I promise that it's it for my August wrap up I hope you liked it again please click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on new uploads thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye